and yeah. Matt's here now. And boy, you got something you want to no, say I was about just that? Saying, I think Blazer fans would love to see a franchise in Seattle again, just to renew the rivalry right. between uh, the absolutely. Blazers and the Sonics. Yeah. That was a good one. So how's the weather looking? Because it was Great. so summer-like today. I know. It's more baseball weather than basketball weather right now, for sure. And it's <laughs> going to stay that way, too. Let's take you outside. We'll show what it'll look like from the Dallas, looking back towards Mount Hood. Some nice lazy cumulus clouds building over the elevated terrain of the mountains, but they didn't amount to anything, of course. A little hazy, too. Some wildfire smoke from the old Cedar Creek fire still burning and blowing smoke down around Eugene, mainly. We're getting some haze from that. Not a lot, but there will be some. And the fires down in southern Oregon doing the same. Not as much as the smoke from the Bolt Creek fire up in Washington. So it will remain a bit hazy at times. This morning, we had low clouds in the Portland area and other parts of the Willamette Valley. Then that burned off. And that was it, except at the coast, which stayed socked in all day long. All right, one last look at our rainfall for September. And I kind of just clumped it in with July and August because, well, August didn't have anything. It's just a trace, and July didn't have much either. And so you add up those three months, 48 hundredths of an inch, second driest on record for that three-month period. Only 2012 was drier, and this was only 16% of the average. So, yeah, it was a really dry summer, and it continues here in October. Also, it was a really warm September Warmest September on record, and that follows a trend of upward September temperatures. We've gained 3.3 degrees on average since 1970. So again, all the numbers just pointing upwards with warming and some drying too, although we will get back into rain, I think, later this month. 82 is our high today in Portland. That it's in and of itself is about 10 degrees above average. On the coast, 50s and 60s. Marine layer keeping things nice and cool there, but 70s and 80s inland with a 91 in Medford for the hot spot. Now, there's a weak system out here, but basically we've got weak westerly flow over us. That system will wash out to the north. It's increasing the onshore flow, so we'll have more on the way of morning clouds and fog tomorrow morning and on Wednesday morning. You can see it on the modeling here. There it is. There's the gray. Burns off in the afternoon. A little slower tomorrow. It'll be around again on Wednesday morning. Burns off in the afternoon. And then the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday, weekend, 80s and Mainly dry. I mean, totally dry, but mainly sunny. Fog and low clouds on uh, tomorrow morning, about 56. And then noontime, 69 and 5 o'clock, 77, and the sun is back out. So looking for rain, we look at the long-range charts. What we want to see is something like that right over us, but we don't. That is if you want rain. We just have high pressure, warm air, some variations to it now and again, but this is right through really the end of next week. Still no sign of rain on the way. It'll come, but just not yet. 64 degrees in Portland, freezing level at 14,100 feet. So it's a nice evening. Cloudy areas of morning drizzle on the coast, and then it's just going to be the same thing again on Wednesday. In the valleys, morning clouds and fog, and then partly sunny. And in the mid-70s for the Cascades, really warm. Warmer up in the mountains at four to 6,000 feet than we'll be at the beaches with that marine layer in the 60s at Meadows and at uh, Timberline. Areas of haze in eastern Oregon, courtesy of that wildfire and the wildfires, but not too bad. And then mostly sunny in the gorge, west winds and highs in the 80s. In fact, near 90 in the Dallas, near record high temperatures there. Morning clouds and afternoon sun in Portland tomorrow, high of 77. We go 78 on Wednesday, then there are the 80s again. And the warmest days are Saturday and Sunday, up to 85 on Sunday. Columbus Day is Monday, still about 80. We're back after this.